first thing on the agenda is the reorganization of the board. And I will make a motion that we appoint Todd Wyckoff, the parent commissioner Wyckoff, to chair and commissioner Fairchild as vice chair. Also. <laughs> then move the second. We, uh, appoint Chairman Wyckoff as chairman and commissioner Fairchild as vice chair. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <laughs> What now, else? Quick. if you'll pick up your blotter and your name tag <laughs> and move your chair, <laughs> we'll recess, Carol. Good grief, that happened so fast. I know. Okay, I've got resolutions, maybe the bang, depositories, the tax basis accounting, and you need to get the official payment. Um, staff recurrier, staff recurrier, staff recurrier. Right. For the, this is for the legal notices. It's 31 cents per line. Uh, Pratt came in at six dollars per column inch. I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. My preference is to say the courier. Yeah. And he's awesome to work with. We just haven't had any issues with him. So anyway, here are those resolutions. I didn't make up a mileage resolution. I assumed you wanted to stay the same as the 48 cents. I yes. think IRS rate is 53 or 55 or something. We've been at 48 for years. Some of them should be more expensive now. Um, It doesn't matter because I can. I'll I'll break them out in my minutes. So you were more. Waiting on the title work to come back from the Hive Company. I think she called or sent a message. Kind of more we have status wise, so but um, we're got all the paperwork. I think very good. We're waiting on the title stuff. So planning on it. Who does the auctioneering for the next Sheriff. Sure. Sure. Okay. Wanted to make sure, sure that wasn't something. No, that's not. <laughs> um, I think usually they can go though. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't, you don't have to do it. You do the bid to buy thing. So you think about a month? Who knows? Hope, I hope. But they, they've got to do all the abstracts and all. So how many partials? 60, I believe. 60. So how many? I mean, we were doing about, I think we were down to like 30 some, close to 40, but then we decided to add the next year. Yeah. It bumped us up, and so yeah, it's. There's been a few pay, but not like public. Yeah, yeah. But and you're still gonna get some people to pay. Sure. And we had a discussion, I think we're gonna add on the fee. Yes. Whether they come in early and pay or not, it's gonna be 
Anyway, just that's going. I had the department heads or the ones with vehicles. Their name is Jeff. Jeff Hall. Yeah. 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 Downstairs. Yes. The reason he says that unit down there isn't working because it's at the end of the circulation line. And all the sediment in the system is collected there. Um, he said what he has to do is, is shut the whole system down and drain it. And then they'll go in there and try to clean out the lines to that. I asked him about putting a separate unit in there. You know, just for those two little rooms, and he said it would be quite costly, and he would go to try this. So, in the spring, when they shut down, we'll just have it, we'll just, they'll just do that, see if they can get that. So, that's kind of my plan. And he, I'm just going to have the guys buy a portable heater back there for now, because it is cold. Buy that. It doesn't circulate all the way around. It stops right there. That's at the end of the line. He said that the unit like behind you down in that way is stops. It's the end of the line. But what's that? You look like a. Like a it's a. Yeah, but he said he, he's figuring seven stuff is built in there. Oh. I. I would think Yep, I approve her and then we approve the amendment so January second be a second. A motion for the approval of the January second meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. is in Topeka doing driver's license training so she can actually give out the driver's license the right way. So we need to be trained her. Yeah. And, and so now she'll be official. And then Karen's husband tomorrow has to go get his, he's having problems with his defibrillator in his heart. And so he's scheduled for surgery tomorrow. Amelia was supposed yeah. to be here. No, no, the only reason really? I asked was last night on the news. They said the flu was in Kansas. Well, Nick had the flu. So, we've already, mm -hmm. I've already been infected. Uh -huh. so I'm to have yeah. Well, he got it. What did I tell you? Last Thursday? Um, yeah. Yeah. Last Thursday. So, I'm just giving you guys your quarter, your fifth quarterly report. Fourth quarterly report. For the total money that the county has. Interest rates going up in the morning. Excuse me. Not too much. It's not about the same, but I was going to wait until after we do the big distribution in January. That'll clear out a lot of the excess that's in there. That one's always a big one. And then I was going to start. 
Yeah. 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 I bet he is. I bet you should see him play skip around the table. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was first thing. Like it. it was like at eight thirty one. I bet he moved all the. Yeah. It was things. funny. I bet he's all excited. He couldn't wait. I bet you were excited. <laughs> I would be too. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then I'll start researching. Uh, I think. Barton County said there was a bank up there in Great Bend that was doing it, but usually we just stay in the banks and are. Yeah, I think that's county. usually the case. I mean, we should be within the county. Yeah. So, well, we'll I wouldn't wait around because you know that. I'll bring it to you. We're being nice down there, so you could pray for us today. <laughs> so no one's going to be answering the phone. I know, and I'm just going to the clerk's office and that. They don't See, answer, you, you do? No. Oh. And it, it rains and rains and rains, and obviously the person hangs up and it rains and rains and rains. I thought thing. we rolled over to an answering machine. Well, after five rings, it will tell them um, everybody's busy, please call back. Well, and then eventually they will call our office. There's nobody in the trader's office? Yes, there is, but they are all busy. Well, I don't know. There is enough. <laughs> we usually just take part of I think I think this entails either either be closing or be yeah. But it is posted as minimum maintenance, right? 
so that it'll remain as a minimum maintenance road. It will remain as a minimum maintenance road. My my road will not be exhausted. Please don't have sense. I'm not sure what the difference between a regular road and a minimum maintenance because they still have to. They're still supposed to maintain a minimum right. maintenance road. But I don't know what the difference is there. No. It, it's, it's a liability issue for the township. If they post it minimum maintenance, they have the liability for everything that happens on that road. But they are still supposed to keep them passable. That's how I understand it. They're still supposed to keep them passable, you know, for cattle and all that. But Without having to go on the property damage problem. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But I think a lot of these townships don't, they think minimum maintenance means no maintenance. Right. But he'll go down there. Three, four, three times a day. But he only drags my Can I say something about yes, this? Yes. I, I think there's a, a reasonable expectation uh, for a property owner to be able to serve a visit, um, especially when you've got crops. I know that we don't farm our own land now, but there's people renting that, and if they can't get the weed out of the field, especially with, with the conditions of the north and south of the where it's full of water, if it rains, the only way to get the, the weed out is from the north side with that road being the way it is. It's, it's almost impossible. So that, that's one thing, but from a law enforcement perspective, when you have a road you can get through to go help someone, I realize that we're on the edge of the county, but what if one county you can help one mile inside their county? If there's a if there's a road so that we can get through where we are at whatever location we get called at, why would you shut up? Why would you close it? Why would you make a guy go three more miles or two more miles to get to the same place if it could have been there two minutes earlier? That same time. I, I just think if you have a road and it's established, why would you ever close it? You know, making a new road, I totally understand. It's expensive, it's, it's everybody's used to going around. But when there's a road there and you're, you're going to close it, I just I, I can't see it as, as, a, as a long term <coughs> We haven't closed very many rooms, but a few we have we've just passed that <coughs> nobody ever objected. Right, right. I could get some more objections. <laughs> this is that's enough. This is my first public hearing on a close of the road, but I think that if the land if any of the landowners or any people that use the roads or farm them are going to use that road or farms ground around it, if they have any objections, you shouldn't be able to close the road. So, that makes sense. You know, like I told you in the last meeting you were here, Terry, I never knew there was any objections. And if there's any objections, we're, we're probably not going to close the road. Well, so I don't like to drive a lot. Okay, it's been five minutes. Anyway. Make a motion we, not, we do not close the road in Cleveland Township. Second. We have a motion and a second to not uh, approve the road closure. Road closure. Cleveland Township. Motion for all the favor. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, you guys can get your. Yeah, hopefully, we get something worked out that will work. Well, what we talk about, I don't take your time, but what we talk about, that other thing's not going to work. Three inches off. I want to know that yesterday, at the top of their dam, at the top of the water, measured it on my cane. This morning I checked this mid kneecap. But I take that much off just to be at the top of the water. And all the water on the north side, except for the horse down the is drained down. The water on my side is about 500 feet wide and pretty much shut Well, I think they need to reshoot it and get more measurements and get well, a better they, idea. They got a useless measurement. Yeah. We'll go through.
There's a special detergent. Yeah, should be in the first two eight grand. Did that come with a grant? Or is it going to be eighty dollars a pound? I hope not. <laughs> and who's this grant from? Uh, this was through the Kansas State Fire Department. Kansas uh, Firefighter and City Improvement Project. Okay. So there's a little bit of a difference. Yeah, use cold water. It has to be a certain temperature. <laughs> and a conditioner on it. Yeah, yeah. everything. Cold enough that won't work. Yeah. Did you guys get your bottles, the air pack bottles that you bought? Um, right Friday, he's going to run up to take more of it. Right over the weather's going to be. What's the status on the new gear? It's ordered. This way, you may have heard any updates on it. It's in the Tribune Lane factory process. Last time we heard, they were saying in the January, first part of February, we have it by March. We're going to do this. We can get four of the helmets. Mm -hmm. He could have put it up, but he didn't want to get his new shoes at the bought that day. Or not. Well, he told me he tried. So at least he didn't burn up the hall, he just burned up the food at four percent. Hear about it. You guys remember, I hope you remember, here a while back in December, I asked you guys about the map of country. Yes. And because of our auto guest situation, it was just crumbling. Um, I kind of want to see how you guys felt. Uh, we talked a little bit, uh, Nita and I, and uh, kind of, I kind of feel better about this because I thought, you know, we were going to be extremely short on, on the appraiser budget. But I think there's a couple ways we can do this. And then my my budget will go up next year, which we got to talk about that anyway. Um, about the budget for 2020, I'll probably spend more whole time in here with my 2020 budget. Anyway, the contract, you know, was going to be for a five-year period, and they was going to waive that seven thousand dollars to to convert everything from uh, auto guest to RTU and is there. Uh, and so our, our yearly contract would be ten thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay. What I did is I made you guys a copy of my two thousand nineteen budget, and I highlighted four items on there um, where I think we can act. I, I don't even think I need to ask any money for the general fund or anywhere. Plus, I think what we will do with the leftover is we're going to go ahead and give with Randy and go ahead and update Maryland's computer for this system. Then I'll take her old computer, because mine's extremely old, and we're just going to, and it, but it'll work fine for me. This is how we plan on doing it now. And 
I just words to you guys, I guess what I'm asking is that we go ahead and sign this contract with Luke then and tell him to go ahead and get started. What I'd like to do in my, in my budget is those four things that I have highlighted. The DLT, that is our yearly uh, subscription to the system that's currently crumbling. Okay? So, so we would use that money. The $400 to Gail Ogle, we would not use that at all because we wouldn't need that kind of for sure. Okay? The ATCI, that's the parcel service that we had a lot of trouble with. That money there we wouldn't need because they can help us do the parcel search. And that ATCI is what we just kind of went into a year ago. Yes, sir. And yes, just sir. it's yeah, it's nobody's using it or is it, it just kind it, of it, the system's not working right the way they said it was going to. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's actually why we didn't sign a contract with them. Because we were a little literary, but it was better than the state's free one. So so we could use that money. The Eagle View, that's the time we will have to we will have to do that annual uh, license fee. The next thing is kind of get go out on a limb, but I think we're going to be okay. Is we put in the budget, and you guys approved the eight eight hundred dollars for the calculator. Okay, because ours is in two thousand and twelve. We need to update that. If we can feel like you know because it's seven years old. What I would like to do is take the chance and not get the copy. Okay? That would leave us the 8800 plus the 2600 plus the 400 plus the 1160 which is well over the $10,800. What we then, what we would do with some of that extra money, and I think we're going to be finding our budget then and actually we have leftover, is what we have left here is that's how we're going to buy that computer. Maryland for the system, and I'll take her own system, and we're still going to be under the budget. The next year, will you go ahead? And yes, sir. Really? And what we have to do next year is for the the copier and then for Luke, and then we need to figure out what we want to do and which route we want to go with Tom and Connor and and, and, and who we're going to find a replacement. I have a couple things on that already, uh, but we. Can Cross that later in the year. Do you have a copy of the actual contract? Not yet. He's getting me. Because Melissa needs to look at the contract first mm -hmm. okay. to, to make sure it's worded correctly so we don't have to go over this 50000 Okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, before we sign anything, mm -hmm. we may have to. The wording may have to be like, well, well, for five years, it would be 50000 and see where, um, yeah. where and, the and you guys yeah. thought is since it was going to be a one a one contract is you have to pay the fifty thousand in two thousand. Well, if if the contract's not worded right, right, we'll have to account for that. Right? And he does not. No, no, no. It's not too. So hopefully we just live here. Time, so. Well, hopefully he he tried to address that when you that was brought right. up when we talked in in on page two on the fifteen hundred and one one the other two. Right. So uh, when um, you would have sent this to her, yeah. If, if you I want that one, that, you can have that one. I'll, but then when you get the contract, give it to me and I'll shoot it to her. Too. Okay. She didn't think there'd be an issue with it. She thought it could be worded so we could get around that. Mm -hmm. numbers, but we just need to make sure. Because like when Luann well. did her book scan, mm -hmm. we had to look down for that yeah. one. But on um, what about leases? Do we have to encumber the whole? The five years no, on the lease because there's wording in there that gets you out of it. Because it's like the ambulance, mm -hmm. right? Right. Yeah. Where because as long so as your wording is correct in your contract, right. you're fine. Is this so a contract? No. No. It's just a script. He he'll get me. I mean, the wording is good. You can put that into a contract. So that yeah, once Luke gets him the contract, I can shoot it to her. Or That's the only thing we need to be cautious of. We have to count all that. We got not that we need. What's the name of the services that you're wanting to go to? Oh, uh, Kimball. Uh, Kimball, it should be on the very top. Kimball, Kimball Mackey. Okay. Yep. So, the services we're going to get from them, what, what is this? What it would do is it would, it, would, it would keep us from buying a new system's entire software and having the system on our computer. We will have the system on our computer, 
but we're gonna he has the licenses for the system okay. and, and he has 28 counties and so his license is big enough to encumber where the, his counties don't have to provide all the software and hardware for this system okay. and, and what it does is it's kind of reviews and we go with the splits and combinations which are important uh, it can actually because we were just talking about this in their system when he gets everything converted if we want a map like this updated like that's on your wall right now right now we have to go to a publisher's company mm -hmm. we can just call them and they'll make it uh, they can make directories for us if they would be wanting to uh, so when you were saying splits it goes through like on ground where different individuals own the ground yes. and make sure that everything is right that's correct on the deed. That's right. Every deed that comes through the, the, the registered deeds office and, and then we get a copy of it, if the legal is identical, we won't send that to them. We'll just do that in house and do it on our system. We're going to do that. Anytime there's going to be a deed that's in conflict or if they see a deed that's written cor incorrectly, which believe it or not, there's a handful of those, uh, we then ask to get a corrected deed. This will all be another set of eyes to look on our mapping also there. Does this also do like the splits on mineral rights and stuff like that? Or is this just ground? Yeah. Because yeah. I've heard some of those mineral right deals are so. <laughs> those, those mineral deals are, yeah. Several minerals would be probably in some of the department. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a large budget. All they need and all they would like to do is research. So I think looking at to go into detail on the, on the budget that you guys approved for me in 19, I think making these changes, I think we're gonna it's gonna be plenty that's more. I, I, I'm just really happy with the way this is kind of turned out now. Uh, in the long run for, for, for the greater profit and for the taxpayers. I think it's gonna be money a lot better spent than not being happy with some of these things that we've done. How much more Well, I, well, I didn't have that in there. And then what, the only thing I'd have to play for would be the copier. So another 90,000? Yeah. For 2020? It could be more because of, we don't, because of uh, the duplicate between the two four dollar tires. And the person coming in for training. There, I think we talked about three months or so before we have the people that's out. But as far as this ten thousand, you'll have you'll have the twenty six, the four hundred, the eleven hundred. Um, that will actually disappear next mm -hmm. year. Yeah, and so the ten thousand will come on. So that'll take part. Of sure. Yeah. 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 That's right. And that would fall under, then Luke's contract would fall under the object number 4333. Over, over there. And so really all we would have there would be Luke camera mapping and then he would be. So we'll basically go down basically 7,700. 7, Those lines will go away and then we'll have to basically end the increase by 3,000. On that line right On that line right now. Yeah. So if you increase by three and then the copier, and then you're mm -hmm. and then and your salary is increasing. Like 15, 16, 000. When is DG's last retirement date? Uh, looking at May. This May? No. Uh, that's why we're, we're that's why we're good on this budget. We're actually going to be sitting better on this budget than we even thought. So what are you thinking about trying to hire somebody to do? Well, what I was thinking, it all depends if we want to start it from the process on, from January 1st, or if we want to, we probably, we really need to catch it when we start valuing as of April 1st for the oil. That person needs to be involved in that. Uh, we're probably thinking, again, it probably wouldn't be bad for that new employee to be involved with the process of when you mail out the valuation notices, so that's not a huge shock a year later. 
uh, and that's in March 1st. So are you talking about hiring this April, or they yeah. have a year, or just April to May uh, next year? Yeah, next year. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still in communication with some people that you Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing, you know, is getting a big salary, of course, and, and, and being fair to everyone else that, that's at the courthouse. And, 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 and so, I mean, it's a little tougher. But remember, this here will take the cable mapping that takes place. Of we then from Maryland, we don't have to look for a GIS person anymore. We don't need to look for that forty-five, fifty thousand dollars salary anymore. This this contract totally changes that the outlook on that map, which is better for Stafford County as we go down the road. It really is. So the people that you're talking to this far, do you feel pretty good? I mean, do you think it's 50-50s, better than average chance? I'd say probably just 50-50, probably a safe Vegas bet. Yeah. 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 Y
Alright, that's all I had. You guys have anything for me? Alright, well I appreciate it. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you, Carl. Do we have anything else for the session? Do you want to do that today or